Uh, see you later. Later. Uh, but, so the reason I think that Northstar will still win against Ronin is because anytime that Ronin's sword blocking, he's walking. So, in that time, you have time to air strafe backwards, so you can sprint through the air with four times movement speed. You still have time for your tether traps, you still have your cluster. He has to let go of block at some point to get his damage, and that is your time to land full damage output. And the more he sword blocks, the bigger that gap increase will be so that he's not keeping up with Northstar. I still don't think Ronin's unstoppable while blocking, because like I said, you have to let go of block to do damage. It'll take you quite some time to kill him, but he's designed to win close range engagements. He gets close range, he's designed to win. That's kind of the point of him. Everyone else can do damage up close, he cannot, or at long range, he cannot. But even then, <coughs> you can still melee through sword block, and you can still lead score through sword block and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna the uh, Rona vs. North Star is going to be identical to Rona vs. Ion. I would say it's gonna be basically no different. You're gonna Rona is gonna try to block those power shots, but every time he tries to block those power shots, North Star is gonna get a gap on him, and Rona's gonna have to fight for that gap. And whenever he wants to go for shots, it, you gotta try to time it to where Rona or North Star's not doing power shots. Because Northstar can use his dashes backwards as you are doing um, your blocking. So he could dash backwards and then he could air straight backwards, all while increasing the gap and while charging railgun shots. And then when those aren't ready, he drops a tether and he increases the gap by sprinting in the opposite direction. And then going for a snapshot for full damage whenever Ronin isn't blocking trying to catch up. And at close range, he still has to let go of block for 3 seconds to reload. He still has to let go of block for a couple seconds to shoot his shotgun rounds. He has to let go of block for over a full second to shoot his or to throw an arc wave. That's all time for Northstar to do full damage, and that's all time for Ronin to die. Especially because Ronin, well, Ronin can hold his sword block indefinitely. Northstar can hold a fully charged railgun shot indefinitely. So, and also Northstar will be more mobile than Ronin if Ronin's going for damage reduction. So when they're both unlimited time on their damage and their damage reduction, Northstar has the distance advantage and Northstar can still uh, double stack hover to get out of sword core range. I, I really I think it'll honestly make it more in North Star's favor because a lot more people rely on sword block and if you can be unpredictable then you're gonna win. The the less uh, less competitive North Stars are probably gonna have a harder time with this because they're gonna be like tone players where they want to shoot as soon as they have that shot ready every time. Just like tones always want to shoot a salvos every three shots. To beat a good Ronin, you're gonna have to be unpredictable. And you're gonna have to stall out those shots, keep building that gap, and never close it on close that gap on purpose, and it will give you perfect opportunities to win. Uh, when they do patch that bug, I'm going to be that's the day I'm gonna be doing like probably ten plus uh, ten plus hour stream of doing one v ones on that matchup, so that I can perfect it and put a lot of gameplay on YouTube. That way, people will see that it's still doable. But yeah, I, I, I really think that it's not going to change anything. In a 5v5, it's going to be easier for Ronin to tank multiple Titans because it's not going to be like, oh, there's a North Star. I can't tank at all right now. But when it comes to Ronin actually participating for damage, it's going to be no different. Ronin still has to be immobile to block, and he still has to let go of block to do damage. And that railgun's going to be fully charged for that moment that he lets go. And he can keep holding it while he's dashing backwards and keep creating that gap. And it's going to decimate Ronin. I still think they need to buff Scorch's primary so that he can counter Ronin though. Because Scorch really fails at that. Uh, I don't know when the patch is. There's a chance that it'll be dropping with Colony because it was over a month ago that they said they were going to patch it. Or maybe it was right around Livefire. I think it was actually just after Livefire. 
so we might be expecting that railgun bug to be fixed with colony in two days we'll have to wait and see